Yo, what is going on, boys? It is me, Quicken, and welcome back to a brand new episode of my Real Madrid Career Mode series. And we have a lot to do in today's episode. First off, we have to face Barcelona in a classical in the Spanish Cup. We have to face him twice this episode. We also have the deal with Benzema. Should he go to City for Aguero, or should we just sign someone like Lewandowski or Morata? A lot of you gave me suggestions, and I'm still kind of confused on what to do. But without further ado, we're gonna get into a press conference right now because we have El Clasico coming up so I need to do a press conference and uh, we're also gonna have something special that has to do with Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, it's gonna be a very difficult game. Um, we have to face a huge giant like Barcelona early on in this competition and uh, you know, honestly, if we can beat them or no, I know we'll beat them. When we beat them, it's gonna be smooth sailing from there and I know that they're a hard team, but we beat them 4-0 the first time we faced them. And I know they're going to try to correct the errors, but we have a better team, and I believe we have the better manager. Now, in regards to Cristiano Ronaldo, I want to congratulate him because he has broken the record of goals scored in the Real Madrid shirt. Props to him. He's a very good, outstanding player, and honestly, I don't know when there's going to be another player like him. He's insane, and I'm happy that he's in our club. And uh, I think he's getting an award later on this evening, and he, he absolutely deserves it. He doesn't have to train today or tomorrow, uh, but honestly, when he comes back for that game against Barcelona, he has to go in hard and prove to us that he's the best player in the world. But thank you for coming to this press conference. This is going to be a very difficult game. So yes, I want to congratulate Ronaldo for getting over 500 goals in the Real Madrid shirt. That's very impressive, but hopefully he can score some more goals. And uh, against Barcelona, we need him to do that. So this is our starting 11 versus Barca. Casilla is in goal. We're going to give Navas a rest. So that's kind of sketchy. Casilla hasn't been doing too well lately, but I feel like he can do something to redeem himself against Barcelona. We have Marcelo, Ramos, Varane, and Carvajal. On the defensive line normally we have Danilo but Carvajal has more experience so he's staying as right back we also have Pogba and Modric as the defensive mids Ronaldo on the left mid position he's been doing work there Hamas is Cam Bale on the right let's see how that works out Bale has been doing really good as Cam but we want to see how Hamas can do because when he plays as Cam he's freaking good so this is a squad Let's see the squad that Barcelona brings. We really want to continue on in this competition. I'm facing Barcelona early on in this competition. It, it really does suck because it, it just releases the suspense that uh, we should be building up. Barcelona should be a squad that we should be facing later on, but we have to face them in the round of 16. We have our best squad up front. Next game is versus Deportivo on the weekend, so I'm not too scared about that, but... Hopefully we can go on to the next round. Barcelona is coming with a 4-3-3. Ter Stegen, Alves, Mathieu, Pique, Alba, Busquets, who's been having a lot of assists in La Liga, Rakitic, Iniesta, Neymar, Suarez, and Messi. So Messi is not injured. If he would have been, it would have helped us out a lot. But they have a very tough squad. Last time we faced them, we won 4-0. So let's see if we can do it again. I need Pogba and Modric to do what they've been doing all season long. Winning balls in the midfield and then going on quick counterattacks. Because Barcelona, they're controlling the game now. Decent long ball. Oh, come on. Benzema, make a run. Come on, Cristiano has been... Uh, he's, he's been so involved in this game. But now Thomas to Gareth Bale. Who cuts? We use the left foot. Oh, I just went over the bar. 33 minutes in. That is literally the first chance of the game. It comes from a left foot from Bale, and if he would have put a little less power, that would have sinked in. Oh, he gets taken down. Barcelona is getting rough, and that should be a booking for sure it should be. And yes, it's for Iniesta. That's a key yellow card, because if Iniesta can get another yellow card, he'll be out. It's Luka Modric with Paul Pogba, who's been helping a lot with Ronaldo and he gets taken out and is yes it works out Iniesta gets a red card and this is gonna shift things so much even though we've been controlling the game Barcelona have 10 men and it's one of their key players and Iniesta is just pissed off but Pogba got taken out oh I see that run though it's Cristiano oh he couldn't get a good first touch on it we're being very imprecise I just want that freaking goal it would give us such an advantage but look, it's Marcelo versus Messi on the wing. We put a foot in, and we take it out. And it's Barca with the shot, and that is their first shot off target. 
64th minute, I think it's time for some changes. Hamas is too damn tired, so Hesse is going to come in to play on the right. Bale will be playing as Cam, and uh, we're going to take out Benzema like in 5 minutes and uh, put in Fakir. Barcelona, they've learned from their mistakes. From the previous beating of 4-0, they've, they've learned how to recuperate the ball well. Oh, but there we go. There's an open space right there. Ronaldo, don't mess up. Don't mess up, Ronaldo. And that is 1-0. Ronaldo is just a tank. Pogba has been finding him so much in the game. But we finally get that one opportunity. And Ronaldo sinks it into the back of the net. Ter Stegen went the right way. I think that's Pique who tried getting in the way. But Ronaldo's shot was it was just too damn hard. And it's, it's time to take out Benzema and put in Fakir. And, oh, Ronaldo, you are a tank. Great job. That was all we wanted throughout the whole game. And it's crazy how it took so long. Barcelona had 10 men. And it took... Oh, if I would have messed things up there, I would have started crying. I'm not even lying. Oh, my God. And Barcelona, they're not quitting, bro. They're not quitting. That looked like a handball. And now it's Modric. Oh, okay. That... No, Bale... Bale, that was unnecessary. Yep, Gareth gets a yellow card. That That's not good at all. But we make some more changes. Fakir came in. And we also have Isco coming in to help out defensively. He, he's actually really good there. But Fakir was so close on getting the ball there. Oh, is that offside? It, it surely is offside, isn't it? Oh, wait, it's not? It's not offside! And Fakir coming in as a substitute gets the second goal and Barcelona they're gonna have to come back really hard in the second leg but I don't understand how that is not offside Fakir was all the way on this side and PK was here and the ball was lobbed over I don't understand that whatsoever but I'll take the goal 2-0 Fakir coming in as a sub and he just barely got on and he freaking scored and should we get a replacement? I mean, he's scoring goals. He's doing good off the bench. I don't know if we need another striker, boys. Oh, we went it there. Two minutes of added time. Oh, that would have been a better ball to bail. But we mess up. That could have been the third goal, potentially. And that could have really helped out going to the second leg. But the game ends. Barcelona lose 2-0. They played a lot better compared to the previous El Clasico. But we were just much better. Ronaldo with a goal. He's just been a tank. Fakir coming in as a sub and getting the job done. And the next game, we're going to sim versus Deportivo and then play the final leg versus Barcelona. But Paul Pogba obviously gets the man of the match. He got an 8.8. .8, and honestly, he's the one that kept finding Ronaldo. He was trying his best to create chances. And it's because of him that we did win. But we get another offer for Keylor Navas from Borussia Mönchengladbach. They offer 14 million. We're going to reject that because he's been a very good goalkeeper. And I want to keep him here until the summer. Now, while we're at it, we're going to put in an offer for Robert Lewandowski. We're going to offer Karim Benzema. And we're going to see if Bayern Munich accept this offer. Because a lot of you told me that Agüero wouldn't be as realistic. So, we're going in for Lewandowski. Or something else we could probably do is that if we sell Benzema, we could just go in for an offer for Morata and bring him back to Real Madrid. What do you guys think about that? What do I do, boys? City accepted the offer. Benzema and 5 million for Aguero. He wants 325k. We're going to put in an offer and we're going to see what Bayern say about the offer we, we just gave him. But Aguero might be coming to Real Madrid. The game versus Deportivo, we are going to sim it. And hopefully we can win it. We still have great players in like Ronaldo who scores another damn goal. And uh, he uh, he's just doing work again. Two goals versus Deportivo. We sim it. 3-0, Ronaldo with a hat-trick. So that was the final score. 3-0, Ronaldo with a hat-trick. And we go into the next game in El Clasico with a lot of confidence. And I think that gives Ronaldo like 17 goals this season, which is absolutely crazy. It's literally mind-boggling. What you're seeing on screen right now is Benzema being sold for $75 million. We were in a deal with Manchester City for Aguero. We could have got him. We could have got Lewandowski. But guess what happened? We sold Benzema to Juventus for $75 million And we only get $64 million back. 
Why did this happen? I, I was going to sell him either way, but the board just decided to accept an offer that I never got, that I never got to see. And Benzema leaves the club. But now with him gone, we have $89 million in the bank. $256,000 in wages. And we have three strikers we can replace him with. Lewandowski, Aguero, and Morata. Now, a lot of you told me not to go for Aguero because he's not realistic. He'll never go to Real Madrid. So, we're going to remove him off the short list. But we have Morata and Lewandowski we can replace him with. And I'm going to leave it up to you guys. I'm going to put offers for both of them. And in the end, if we if they do accept the terms, then I'm going to let you guys decide on who we buy. So we have a lot of money to spend. So first of all, we're going to offer how much he's valued at. So we're going to offer $57 million.5 dollars. And uh, we'll see what Byron say to that. And uh, that's the first offer for Lewandowski. And for Morata... We are obviously going to offer 26 million, but we're not going to try to spend a lot of money on both of these players. Now, since Benzema did leave, we're going to have to train these players extra hard. Fakir and Hesse. Fakir went up a little, and he's getting closer to 81, and that's what we want. Hesse is getting closer to 81 as well, but Fakir overall is doing much better in training. We're just keep getting freaking offers for Kaylor Navas because he is that good of a goalkeeper. And all of you people who keep saying to sell Navas, keep selling him. You know what? Did you watch the derby this weekend? He freaking did something so spectacular. He saved the penalty. You know what? I'll just show you a damn clip. Here you go. That's the reason I have Navas in goal because he's an underrated goalkeeper. And overall, he's been doing extremely well in this career mode. But this is the final game of the episode, El Clasico. Ronaldo versus Messi once again. And this is the squad we have. Casilla is in goal. He kept the clean sheet the first leg. So let's put him in again. Marcelo Ramos Varane. And this time we have Danilo playing as right back. We have Pogba and Modric in the midfield who did freaking insane in the first leg. Ronaldo on the left. He's looking for another goal. We have Isco as camp because Hamas is just tired. We have Bale as right mid. And we have Fakir, the new Benzema, playing as striker. But without further ado, let's do this, man. I know we can do this. We have the home crowd advantage. There have been times at home where we just mess up and we slip. But I don't think we're going to do it today. It's too much of a serious game for us to mess up. We have a two-goal advantage. All we have to do is sit tight, defend well. And try to look for another goal. Come on, Danilo. Gareth Bale's helping out on defense. He knows how important this freaking game is. But Iniesta can't play in today's game because he got a red card. But they have a chance there. Marcelo lets him and it's Casilla. Oh, Lord. But they have another chance. And he hits off the defender. And Casilla. What the hell was that? There is competition in that goalkeeping position. And that could have been an easy goal. But it's not over, boys. There's a corner kick. That's offside. It surely is. Great job from Ramos coming back and applying that offside trap. The shot. Casilla with another save. He is saving us time after time. Neymar this time with the shot. And holy crap. If Iked was in goal. I'm telling you guys. If Iked was in goal. Those would have all been goals. I'm telling you. Come on. Apply pressure. Barcelona is just finding it so easy now. Take it out. Oh my god. That could have been an own goal. Now we go to halftime not doing too well. Only 38% possession, which is absolutely cray. And Barcelona have three shots, three on target. They've been dominating. And I need to switch things up because Barcelona are looking like the better team. And honestly, if they keep this up, they're going to possibly knock us out of the cup. That's a long ball. Casilla comes out. And oh my god. He's been the best player. There's the goal. There's the goal that Barcelona wanted. And it's Luis Suarez. Casilla tried his best. I don't blame him whatsoever. He came out. He put the fist in. They get another shot on. He saves that. But we just got unlucky. And uh, that's 2-1. So now with that goal, that really pressures us. And we can't be fooling around anymore. This is do or die right now. It's time for the final change of the game. So James and Casemiro have come in. They've been doing well. But look at our defensive line. It's too damn tired. Marcelo, Varane, and Danilo are all tired. But I think we have to take out Varane. We're playing Vallejo, 
who did very well while Ramos was gone. So that's the last change of the game. Let's keep it at 1-0 because we're winning 2-1 in aggregate. And if we keep that result, we're going through to the next round. Marcelo on the wing. Oh, this is looking good for Barca and it hits off a defender. Oh man, I really want a goal because I, I feel like Barcelona is going to score. I just, I feel that. And I'll take it out. Oof, Barca still on the ball. I really want that goal. Oh, and it goes over the bar. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Come on, Hamas. Apply. <gasps> Hamas won it. He freaking won it, boys. Oh, 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 what do I do, though? What do I do? Leave it to Pogba. He deserved the goal. Oh, no. Oh, dude. Hamas found Pogba so beautifully. Barcelona, they still have breathing space. They still have that one chance. We could have ended it there. Let's just get the mark on. Oh, Hamas, you won it once. Can can he do it again? No, no, he can't. Fakir. You don't know how good it feels to knock out Barcelona. Round of 16, the hardest challenge we will ever have in this competition. And we eliminated them so quickly. Even though we lost 1-0 and Barcelona were coming in chance after chance after chance. We still stood our ground. We did lose, but we continue on in this Spanish Cup. Still kind of disappointed how we couldn't get that goal. But uh, it would have to do. We lost 1-0. Barcelona completely dominated. Seven shots, six on target, only one goal. So Casilla was doing work as goalkeeper. We had four shots, one on target. And that one shot, I swear with Pogba, that could have been it. But we got unlucky. And uh, Barcelona win, but they're knocked out of the Spanish Cup. These are the bigger teams that made it through also. Athletic Bilbao, we have Real Madrid, Valencia, Sevilla, we have Villarreal, and hopefully Atletico Madrid lost in penalties against Deportivo. But these are the teams that went through, and overall we have a clear chance on going to the final and winning this trophy. But things couldn't be looking better for Real Madrid. We have the top scorer in Ronaldo with 17 goals. He is 6 goals ahead of Neymar. And that just shows you the quality of him. We also have the top assister with Oshkar from Atletico Madrid. And I think Ronaldo's in fifth. And he's tied for third uh, in assist. And Navas has 14 clean sheets doing very, very well. But we're going to check up on how we're doing in the league. And we are in first place. But we have two games in hand ahead of Barcelona. So hopefully Barcelona can slip up. But our next game is going to be versus Sporting Gijón, I believe. But we're going to continue on. And hopefully that offer we put in for those players do come out good. But it does look like Juventus rejected the offer. They want 45 million. We also have some other mail. But 45 million for Morata is just too much. So we're going to offer 33 million and uh, see what Juventus say about that. But then again, if you guys have any suggestions of strikers I should buy, just leave your comment down below. Byron say they want 111 million for Lewandowski. What kind of crack are they sniffing on? That is too much money. I don't know if I should even go for him or offer a player. Honestly, we have no player we can offer. I want all my players. So no, we're not going for Lewandowski anymore. And we get an offer. So we got an offer for Marcelo. We're going to reject that. He's staying in Real Madrid. Juventus has a lot of money. Where the hell did they get that money from? Another offer for Navas. We're going to reject that also. And uh, look at this. He he's just so popular. And I don't, know, I don't know why you guys want me to sell him, because he's a, such a good goalkeeper. Now, Juventus accept the offer of 33 million. That is absolutely, that, that's good for us. That's very good, because his value is 26 million, and we're offering 33, and they accepted it when they wanted 44. So, I believe that's a good deal. In real life, there is a clause for like 35 million to get him back, um, and I think that's in euros, so that's a lot of money, but... I think we're, we're getting a good offer here, 150k, 4 years, and he's going to be uh, an important first team player because he's going to be rotating with Fakir. But this has been a great episode for us, winning El Clasico twice in the episode and going through to the next round of the Spanish Cup. Ronaldo, he's just been doing work, look at this, 32 games played, 22 goals, 5 assists, he's been our best player so far, and honestly... I don't know what Romer is going to do when he leaves the club because he is a key part of it. But if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to snap a like, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you're new. And thanks for all the support on this series. It's been great, and I love you guys for it. 
And um, you guys are just the best. Thank you for everything. I'm Quicken. See you guys next time. Peace.